This episode is sponsored by Squarespace. More on that later. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Witness Goodness. Today is roof day. We've got my roof on the trailer here. This will be the fourth metal roof I've done in my life. So I've learned some, some things along the way and things to avoid. And uh, I'm gonna have to come up with some new tricks to help hold the metal up there. But look at these sunglasses. <laughs> I bought these off Teemu late one night. And I mean, now look at me. You come to my house, you come to my property, you disrespect my building style. I ought to take my nail gun and pound you in the knees. How, how does it feel to have nails in your kneecaps, my man? How does it feel? What's, uh, let's get the tractor and load this up because uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to do a couple trips. This, this metal roof I think is heavy. 34 year old body update. Feels like I have tennis elbow. <laughs> which is kind of a funny thing because I don't play tennis. We had a big day as a family yesterday. My, my eldest, Reese, she learned how to ride a two-wheel bike yesterday. I have a rule in my household, no training wheels. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but training wheels teach them nothing. So needless to say, I'm pretty tired from running up and down my long driveway with my daughter, probably 50 to 100 times, but guess what? Use those pedals, baby. Keep going, that's it, that's okay. Keep pedal, oh! <laughs> there we go, that's yeah, it, that's it, stay that's it. Path. Yep, stay on the path, eyes up, eyes up, eyes up, that's it. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Good job, Reese. Good job, Reese. <laughs> oh, yes, Siri Bob. Good job. Look up. Look up. Good job. Look where you want to go. Look where you want to go. Look where you want to go. That's Woo! it. That's it. Woohoo! <laughs> Sometimes you gotta get after it. That's right, baby. I want to ride my bicycle. Whoa, where am I going? All right, our last little bit of strapping here. This is gable trim and my ridge cap, my drip edge, it's all bundled up together in here. Oh. I should probably put gloves on, to be honest with you. Oh, there we go. That's beautiful. I don't want any scratches. Pull that up right there. See? It's pretty good, actually. Duke. Where are you at, buddy? You still living the dream in here? Oh, yeah. Still living the dream. I put the, I put the wildlife camera here to see if I could see him building stuff, so maybe we'll take a quick gander. I'm just gonna keep putting things out to hopefully eventually get them. 
but so far he's dodged every every trick in the book. The name of the game is to finish our strapping, make sure our roof is square, and at the very least measure up where our first panel is going to go. We're going to start our panels on the highest side, as in highest from the ground. That way when I put the last panel up, it'll be on this side, which is less intimidating. Another beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Holy smokes. Uh, I gotta say, I just, I gotta say, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> it's so beautiful out. The sun is out. I'm in a sweater and I'm probably gonna end up having to, what the heck? Take this sweater off. Pull an usher and lose a few layers. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go backwards briefly. There's been some questions, some concerns, and they are very valid uh, to get a couple more cross supports in here. So we're gonna do that right now. Because of the angle of the slope that I'm building it on, it's hard to get like a really aggressive angle for these supports, but if I crisscross them, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna do well. Better late than never, as I always say. Better late than never. I'm not really sure if this two by six was meant for something, but it found its purpose now. That's better, right? I'll still add some at the front here, but not quite yet, because I still want to be able to get all my wood out of here. So first things first, we need drip edge. I'm not really sure if I'll, oh, there it is. Oh boy, that is, that is the world's smallest drip edge. Is that really what they gave me? So because the drip edge, I don't know if you can see, but basically the drip edge is gonna go like this, right? This flat spot sits on my two by four, which is also cutting it close. This is just really small. I've never seen a metal roof drip edge that's that little, to be honest with you. Here's the point where we make a decision. I wanna keep moving today. So do we make this drip edge work? This is a drip edge. I think I was looking for e eave trim. Eve edge maybe is what it's called. Definitely a miscommunication. Most likely my fault. Like, 
what the heck is that gonna do? I mean, it literally only overhangs about an inch. It almost looks like the, well, it looks like the type of drip edge you'd put on a shingle roof. Or maybe a, a metal roof without strapping. Now, there is a possible scenario where I put the drip edge in after the fact. In that scenario, I would have to peel up the roof just at the bottom here, tuck my trim under, and then sink screws that go through the metal roof and also through the drip edge. I think that's what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna come down there, eat a granola bar and think about it. I'm gonna create a little block system because obviously I'm just one guy. I wanna make sure that my roofing is even and square as possible. So I'm gonna create this little block system. I'll screw it to my fascia board and I can remove it and move it over, you know, for the next piece of metal. Oh wow, I don't know why, but that all feels a little heavier. It feels heavier, especially when the wind grabs it. Oh. Okay, so the one thing I gotta do is flip it around. So, metal roof, it looks like all the ribs are the same but the rib that gets overlapped has a little ridge underneath it, and that helps uh, the next piece lock it down. Everything I explained to you, I did the opposite. Oh. Oh. I mean, each one of these pieces, I think is average is about 50 bucks or something. So, you really wanna make sure you are gentle. Okay. It's a problem, I really can't see what I'm doing on that side. So I'll just... Yeah, this first piece, oh, oh let me tell you, it's a very important piece. I'm gonna measure off this edge and just go that way and see if it's somewhat square. You have 13 feet from the bottom to the top and you could go out a little bit, which I did on my very, very first cabin. By the time I got to my end cabin, I literally had to shave off a sliver on the top that slowly tapered all the way down to the bottom. It was a royal pain in the butt. So we're trying to avoid that. What did I say, 213? So now we're gonna go to the top here. What did I say, 213? 213. Oh, 213, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that feels good to get a roof up. I mean, to get a piece of roof up. Don't celebrate too early, Graham. Got a ways to go. Oh man, is this awesome or what? Yeah, we'll still be able to peel that up because the closures have to go under there too. Pain in the butt, but we're gonna have to do it. Okay, took our time on that one, but now we'll be able to keep moving, I think, a little bit quicker. I don't know if anyone noticed, but I uh, 
forgot to put a minor detail right here. I don't know. My left arm is absolutely killing me. I cannot tell you what I did to it. I'm wondering though, if I should do my, my gable end trim while I'm up there before I get a ton of roof out on that. This is the problem. Can you do it? I can't, I can't see how I'm looking on the other sides, but that looks pretty good. <laughs> smiles all around smiles all around this, this is pretty great Yeah, baby. Yeah. <clears throat> Whoa. Power through, baby. It's time to power through. Trying to pull this up while walking. Oh, is oh, it's not easy. It's not easy being me. It's a really classy look. It's got like an earth tone to it. We're gonna leave the top until we get that ridge up there. Gotta come up with these little tricks. I tell ya, this is this is what you get when you start doing things more than once. You, uh, you learn tricks. Tricks are good. Think about how much money you can save by building a cabin and cancel your gym memberships, you know? I'm telling you, there's money to be saved. Legs, legs, legs. My body's telling me no. Maybe that block's nice to have. Oh. Although, honestly. Ah! 
Oh, I think holding it there and putting a screw in was probably just as hard as trying to mount this, the block, so. Oh man. Oh, this is a boring video, isn't it? Just sitting up here putting screws and metal. It's a great color. It, it kind of changes as the sun's setting. Might be my favorite color roof I've ever done. I've done black, green, and silver. It makes it harder that it's so steep, you know? Oh. Oh. Nice. Okay, how are we gonna get this last sheet up? That's the ticket. Hey, can I even walk on this stuff? I can, but man, that's gonna be difficult. Do a little test here. Well, I'm definitely gonna need that block on this one. Do I have everything I need? I just need a little strength. A little safety. Dear God, I hope you love this cabin and uh, please keep me safe. Amen. Okay, don't, don't love that. I don't love it. Get the dust off these shoes here. See, you hear that? That's what you want to hear, I think. I want to sound like we're playing Michael Jordan. Okay. Whoa. Okay. It's okay. It's all part of the plan. If we feel unsafe, we can always just... I'm not sure what happens if we feel unsafe. It doesn't happen often. I am going to have to cut a little bit off because my math is always questionable. Gloves off. I mean, honestly, maybe I want of bare feet would be better on that. No. Then I would cut myself. Let's tack it into place here at the very top. What? No. I'm out of battery. I 
guess I gotta learn how to go up and down this thing, right? This is, when I say like this is a little scary, um, I mean just a little. I'm gonna have to cut the rope. Just tell her I love her. No, don't do it. I mean, now we can start from the bottom, I guess. That's not a bad idea. Okay, this is where it starts to get interesting. Rope. Do not fail me now, rope. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna pretend that we like this. That this is what we've always wanted to do. So those of you who don't like the look of this, <laughs> now would be the time to look away. Be sure to check out my Patreon where um, you can help support the cause. You hold the rope in your leg. Don't try this at home, okay? I am a trained semi-professional amateur. The strength that this is taking right now It's really humorous though too, you know? Cause like, who in the right mind would want to build a cabin after watching me do all this? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm not coming back here again. Belay, belay on. Belay. And here we go, last one. Okay. At this rate, if Bob's not your uncle, then I feel bad for you. Oh, wow. Oh, that feels good. Feels good to get it done but my arms are falling out of their sockets as we speak. All in a day's work. Well guys, we did half a roof, seven sheets of 36 inch wide by 13 foot long metal sheets, charcoal gray, we got the charcoal gray fasteners. It is a good look. The weather's starting to get a little nice around here. Sunsets seem like they're getting later and later and I'm getting more and more excited to keep moving and getting this thing to the point where I can have a sleepover with my family in it. A lot more work to do, but quite honestly, every chapter of the work and the build gets me excited every time I start on one. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Your support means a lot to me helps me do what I do. So thank you all, and we'll see you on the next one. Squarespace is my absolute favorite website builder. Their templates are super flexible and you can always customize them to make the website exactly what you're looking for. You can customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs. Their online store is incredible. I've used other website builders and their online stores in the past, and ultimately that's why I switched to Squarespace. It's intuitive, easy to use, and I can do so much from my phone, which is great. When I make a woodwork project or sell stickers, I can simply take a picture on my phone and post it to my website, Lickety Split. If you're looking for a new website or updating an old one, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash goodness to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.